All right, greetings everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. So this is part two of the January 2014 paper, and we will begin at number 31. Let me just get this to full screen. Remember to subscribe to my other channel, Cory Fences. So just type in Cory Fences and just subscribe. Thank you in advance for subscribing to both of my channels. Thanks for the support as well. I must say the support has been overwhelming for this channel, Social Studies with, and I just want to say thank you very much. All right, 31. The total male population in the productive sector is approximately, you are to study the diagram, the pyramid, right? For questions 31 and 32. Items 31 and 32 refer to the following population diagram of country X in the 1990s. So 31 is require you to find the total male population in the productive sector. If you add up from 15 to 19 all the way up to 60 to 64, because you know that 65 is the age of retirement, right? That is approximately 2,000 males, right? So the answer for 31 is A, 2,000. 32, according to the diagram above, which of the following statement is true? So you have to look at the diagram to find out which is true. A, there are fewer children than old people. B, the productive sector consists of males only. C, the youngest age group has the smallest population. Or D, there are more people in the five to nine age group than in any other group. So look at the diagram now and the answer for 32 is D. There are more people in the five to nine age group than any other. Number 33, in which of the following pairs of countries is the bauxite industry most important? A, Belize and Trinidad, B, Guyana and Jamaica, C, Dominica and St. Lucia, or D, Barbados and St. Vincent? The answer is B, Guyana and Jamaica. 34, which of the following statements are true of physical resources? One, they are inexhaustible. Two, they are the Earth's natural resources. Three, they are renewable. A, is it A, one and two only? B, one and three only? C, two and three only? Or D, one, two and three only? All right, so the physical resources are not always inexhaustible, right? So we know that one is out. They are the Earth's natural resources, yes, and they are renewable. They are renewable. All right, it's not inexhaustible. I don't like that word inexhaustible because some of them can be exhausted. Three, they are renewable. Yes, they are. But some persons um, might say inexhaustible and renewable are the same. However, um, I don't like the word inexhaustible, meaning that we can't use them up any at all i like renewable because they can be replenished after they have been used up understand right so i would go with two and three so the answer for 34 is two and three only c 35 which of the following refers to life expectancy a low rate of infant mortality b number of live births annually c survival rate of children under five years old D, average length of life of persons in the population. So life expectancy is D, average length of life of persons in the population. 36, the concepts of push and pull are associated with A, migration of people, B, unemployment patterns, C, development of resources, or D, pollution of the environment. We know that push and pull, that's pretty easy, is associated with migration of people. So the answer for 36 is A. 37, infant mortality refers to the death of A, newborn babies, B, babies during childbirth, C, children in a specified year, or D, children under one year old. Infant mortality rate refers to the death of newborn, newborn babies, that is infant. 
it's not um child under one year old right the better answer is newborn babies right that's the better answer for 30 seconds item 38 now refers to the following graph life expectancy at birth of jamaican females 1920 to 1980. so look at the graph closely and then now for 38 you're going to see which of the following statement is correct is it a the life ex life expectancy of jamaican females declined after 1970 b before 1950 no jamaican female was likely to live past the age of 50. C, between 1950 and 1980, Jamaican women lived longer than Jamaican men. B, Jamaican females were, sorry, Jamaican females born in 1960 were more likely to live past 60 than those born in 1940. So B is correct. Jamaican females born in 1960 were more likely to live past 60 than those born in 1940. 39, which of the following are ways by which people have caused soil erosion in the Caribbean? Is it one, crop rotation, two, mining, three, slash and burn? Answer is two and three only. So that is C, mining and slash and burn. Number 40, renewable physical resources may provide energy in the Caribbean for many years to come. One example of a renewable physical resource is A, wood, B, petroleum, C, natural gas, D, nuclear fission. Answer is A, wood. It is the only renewable physical resource there. Others are non-renewable, so that's why it can't be. 41, which of the following will increase as a result of large-scale migration from rural to urban areas in development is in developing countries is it one demand for urban housing two price for agricultural land three unemployment and underemployment if our person moved in from rural areas to urban areas then we're going to have overpopulation or overcrowding so we're going to have a greater demand for houses right and the unemployment and underemployment rate is going to be high because not enough jobs are going to be available in the urban areas for all those who are living there and those who are coming there to live. But price of agricultural land in the rural areas won't be affected. So the answer is one and three only. So that is B for 41. 42, which of the following situations will discourage migration? Is it A, availability of well-paid jobs in the country of origin? B, lack of economic opportunity in the country of origin. C, a high standard of living in the country of destination. Or D, relaxed immigration laws in the country of destination. Right? Will discourage migration, right? It has nothing to do with the country of destination. We're looking only at the country of origin if we want to stop people from leaving. Right? So B would be out. C would be out because those talk about countries, destination country. Well, lack of economic opportunities in the country of origin that will actually encourage people to leave. But the one that would discourage people now is A, availability of well-paid jobs in the country of origin. 43, it is true to say that marine life in the Caribbean is A, a renewable resource, B, and is an unlimited resource, C, has no use as a tourist attraction. B, is not important to person's diet. So, so the answer is A, is a renewable resource. C, is an unlimited resource that is inexhaustible. It can be used up, but then it also can be replenished. Good. It's almost like if you have a forest, right? You can cut down all the trees, right? that is being used up however you can also replant those trees and that makes it a renewable resource good 44 which of the following methods of fishing is most damaging to the ecosystem we'll come to this again this is a repeated question right is it a setting pots b using dynamite c dropping signs d trawling the sea First, it was the use of dynamites, but with the emergence of new information, researchers have realized that trawling the seas is more damaging 
to the ecosystem than dynamite. So please, if you're not so sure or you're not so clear, just Google trawl in the seas and then you will read and realize how damaging it is. So the answer for 44 is D, trawl in the sea. I usually say dynamite. Anytime I say this, I say dynamite because that is what I was taught when I was in school. However, with more information now, it has changed to trawl in the sea. 45. Which of the following does not contribute to unemployment? Does not contribute to unemployment. So three answers there contribute to um, unemployment and one doesn't. So you need to find the one that doesn't contribute to unemployment. A, closure of businesses. B, an increase in exports. exports. C, an increase in population. C, inadequate educational facilities. So what doesn't contribute to unemployment? B, an increase in exports. exports. If businesses are exporting more, then we're going to have an increase in employment and a decrease in unemployment. So the answer is B, an increase in exports. 46. Which of the following activities is an example of, an, of environmental abuse? Good. So three is not, one is. So find the one that is contributing to environmental abuse. Is it A, air pollution, B, or afforestation, C, land reclamation, or D, water conservation? Answer is A, air pollution. That's pretty easy. So item 47 now refers to the illustration below. So look at the illustration. You never miss the water till the top runs dry. So in the first picture, the young man is wasting the water. And in the second picture, there is no water there. So 47 says, the situation depicted in the illustration, can this be changed through? How can we change that people wasting water and then there is none? A, water rationing. B, peer group pressure. C, local government funding. Or D, public education programs. The best one there is you have to think about getting people to understand that they should not waste water. Right, because water is a precious commodity, and especially now in the Caribbean, we're experiencing a lot of drought because of climate change. And now it's kind of sort of our dry season because it is going into the summer months, right? So, having a lot of water restrictions, especially here in Jamaica. So, the answer for 47 is the public, public education campaigns. So that is where you can educate people and people can become informed about conservation methods and techniques or why it is important to conserve water. 48, Caribbean hardwoods are used most in the A, production of plywood, B, production of pulp and paper, C, construction of ducks and pears, D, manufacture of synthetic fibers. So the answer for 48 is C construction of ducks and pears. 49. Which of the following is true of recycling? A. It utilizes only man-made materials. B. It increases the amount of waste in the environment. C. It causes an increase in the prices of manufactured goods. Or D. It reduces the amount of raw materials used in uh, manufacturing. The best answer there is D. It reduces the amount of raw materials used in manufacturing because they actually recycle, so they don't have to get fresh products to make certain things. They either wash the recycled material, they melt it, or they cut it up and remake. Right? 50. Which of the following would play an important part in a government's effort to increase consumption of locally produced food? So what can the government do? to get people to buy more local products. A, imposing heavy duties on farm tools. B, increasing the price of imported foods. C, increasing the price of agricultural lands. Or D, cutting down forest trees to obtain more agricultural land. Right? What can governments do? Is B, increasing the price of imported foods. Anything else that they do, if they import impose heavy duties on farm tools or increase the price of agricultural lands, those costs will be passed on to the consumer and then the goods will become more expensive. Cutting down forestries to obtain more agricultural land won't guarantee that persons will buy more locally. Good? Prices have to be competitive, especially for lower class or lower middle class people. 
51, which of the following is an objective of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, OECS? Is it A, represents members at the United Nations, B, develop shipping companies for its members, C, plan common political policies, policies for its members, or D, make joint decisions in the areas of health, education, and training? Answer for 51 is D, make joint decisions in areas of health, education, and trade. 52, CARICOM is an example of which of the following types of agreement? A, bilateral, B, unilateral, C, multilateral, D, unanimous. So CARICOM is an agreement between many different countries. So that is a type of C, multilateral agreement. 53. Economic integration as part of CARICOM's main objectives aims primarily at A, rationalizing CARICOM's existing tariffs, B, limiting outside access to CARICOM products, C, accelerating development in CARICOM countries, or D, reducing the debt owed by CARICOM member states. Answer for 53 is C, accelerating development in CARICOM countries. 54. Which of the following is not a major objective of CARICOM? A, establishing free trade among member states. B, promoting racial harmony among member states. C, fostering cooperation in education and culture. Or D, imposing similar taxes on extra regional imports. And extra regional means outside of the region. So the answer for 54 is B, promoting racial harmony among member states. Sorry, which of the following is not a major right? So promoting racial harmony among member states is not a major objective of CARICOM. All others are major objectives. 55, which of the following is the main reason for conflict in trade among CARICOM country, countries? Is it A, lack of natural resources in many of the islands? B, low level of in, industrial development in each territory? C, competition among countries which manufacture identical products, or D, reluctance on the part of some government to permit freedom of movement. Right, so A and B are out. Conflict because it refers to, sorry, it refers to trade. So we know that low, sorry, lack of natural resources, low levels of industrial development in each territory, main reason for conflict, right? D now says reluctance on the part of some governments to permit freedom of movement. That might be a problem, but that has nothing to do with trade. So D is out. So we're left with A, B, and C. Lack of natural resources, it said nothing about trade there. So A is out. So it's between B and C. Low levels of industrial development or C, competition among countries which manufacture identi identical products. So best answer there is C. Because if you're manufacturing the same thing, then you have you have competition, right? Selling persons are sometimes persons select based on the best, or sometimes persons select based on price. Good. Fifty six. Which of the following is a CARICOM government's most likely? Sorry. Which of the following is a CARICOM government most likely to provide to attract investors? A. Tax incentives. B. Literacy programs. C. Raw material and capital. D. Labor and foreign markets. Right? So if you're going to attract investment, it's going to be within your own country. So labor and foreign markets. Um, no, companies have to pay for labor and find their own foreign market. Uh, literacy programs. No, that has nothing to do with the question. So it's between tax incentives, raw material and capital. Governments are not going to give businesses raw materials and capital. That is just impractical. Not going to just take up money and give them or things and give them like that. Right? Tax incentives, that's the best answer. Right? So you're going to ask them to pay or offer them a deal where they pay less taxes or no taxes for a period of time. 57. Which of the following factors is intended to promote trade among CARICOM member states? A. Reduction in import duties and regional goods. Use of a variety of currencies by CARICOM countries. C, importation of low-cost goods from countries outside the region. Or D, production of similar goods and services in various member states. So the answer for 57 is A, reduction in import duties on regional goods. 58, one reason for the common external tariff, CET, within CARICOM is to A, create an, a common currency in the region. B, encourage political union among member states. 
C, promote acid-free travel throughout the region, or D, reduce demand for goods imported from outside the region. Answer for 58 is D, reduce demand for goods imported from outside of the region. 59, which of the following is not likely to be a potential benefit of CARICOM to a member state? A, investment in the region's natural resources. B, movement of skilled people within the region. C, greater self-sufficiency in food production within the region. Or D, increased competition among member states for limited human resources. So it says, which is not likely to be a potential benefit. So competition is not a benefit, right? So the answer for 59 is B, increased competition among member states for limited human resources. 60, which of the following institutions of CARICOM is responsible for the economic activities of the community? A, Common Market Council, B, Standing Committee of Ministers, C, Heads of Government Conference, or D, Conference of Education Ministers. Answer for 60 is A, Common Market Council. All right, thank you guys for watching, and I hope that at the end of this video, you will like, share, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to this channel for me, please, and thank you. Have a great day, and all the best for your exams.